of the Power Series expansion, and now we will have our first example, y double prime plus 4y is equal to 0. And of course in the Power Series, we have the generic form of y of y is equal to summation of terms when n is equal to 0, c sub n, x raised to n. And deriving that, we will have the y prime equivalent to summation of terms when n is initially equal to 1. And then deriving this part, we will have n c sub n x raised to n minus 1. And deriving, deriving it again, we will have y double prime is equal to summation of the terms when, when n is initially equals to 2. And deriving this, we will obtain n, multiply n minus 1, by dropping it in here, c sub n, x raised to n minus 2. So remembering these generic forms of the power series, we could substitute it in here in this equation. So we can start off right now with y double prime. So y double prime is equal to n, n minus 1, c sub n, x raised to n minus 2. Add, add 4, have 4 in the 4, then the y is equal to 0, c sub n, x raised to n is equal to 0. And as you can see, we don't have a balanced summation sign. We have n is equal to 2 here, and while we have in here, n is equal to 0. So we could balance that. We could balance that all in n is equal to 0 by subtracting 2 in here in the index. And while you do that, you, you should add 2 in this whole equation. But we can do that. So 2 minus 2 would, would be equal to 0, so they're now the same. Now we will have n plus 2 here. n minus 1 plus 2 is equal to n plus 1. C, and C sub n plus 2 index. And x raised to n because negative 2 plus 2 is 0. So we will just rewrite the other part in here. So now as you can see, they have the same summation sign and also they have the same um, x raised to n uh, variable. So we could factor that out. n is equal to 0. Like in here times 2 n plus 1 c sub n 2 x you could actually factor x sub n x raised to n plus 4 c n x raised to n is equal to 0 so now factoring out the summation sign and the x raised to n variable we can perform the recurrence relations of the differential equation where um, in this case x raised to n is not equal to 0. So, now we write that in here. n plus 1, cn plus 2 plus 4, cn is equal to 0. And now, we have to solve this with for the highest index. So to do that, Cn plus 2 equating, so we're going to transpose 4Cn, that will be negative 4Cn, and multiplying n plus 2 on the other side. So now this is the recurrence relation of the differential equation. So what we are going to find here is the coefficients of the the variable n. So we could substitute. We start from zero. So 
if n is equal to 0, we will have c sub 2 is equal to negative 4 c sub 0 2 multiplied 1. So that is the first term. So now we have n is equal to 1. When, when n is equal to 1, this will be c sub 3 is equal to negative 4 c 1 over 3 multiply 2. And at n is equal to 2, we have c 4 equivalent to negative 4 c sub 2 over over 4 multiply 3. But as you can notice, we already have c sub 2 on here. So we can multiply that. So negative 4 multiplied by negative 4 is positive 16. Now we can do that as 2 raised to 4 means it also equals to 16. C sub 0 over the summation or the factorial of 4. And we now have uh, C, C sub 0, C sub 1, C sub 2, 3 and 4. Now solve for the whole expression. So, so we have the y variable as summation of n is equal to 0, c sub n is equal, is equal to c or c1 x plus c2 x squared plus c cubed and so on. Close all the time. So now continuing, we have um, the terms in here. We could arrange them in this manner. So in sub zero we have c sub zero plus c one x c two is equivalent to here, so that's negative four c four over two one then and c sub three is also negative, so four c one x squared not x over multiply 2 x cubed and see 4 we have positive and the positive 4 we have negative 4 c sub 2 over 4 multiply 3 we going to erase this part so, noticing that we can simplify, simplify this further by factoring c sub 0 out, so we have 1, also we have negative 4, 4x four squared over 2 factorial. Actually, two 
to factor out 4, you can have 2 raised to 2, so that's this 4. x squared plus 2 raised to 4, so factorial x squared plus... And then we can have c1, x minus... Um, so could actually take out all of the 2 and divide that in here. So we have 2x minus 2 cubed over 3 factorial x cubed plus 2 raised to 5, 5 factorial x raised to 5 and further more. So now further um, factoring all of this, we will have C sub 0 1 minus um, 1 over 2 factorial 2x raised to 2 plus 1 over 4 factorial 2x raised to 4 1 plus c sub 1 over 2 2x minus minus 1 over 3 1 over 3 factorial 2x cubed raised to 3 plus 1 over 5 factorial 2x raised to 5 plus so on as you can notice um, without with this pattern, there are this R. This represents a transcendental function, which is in the in the C sub zero form is cosine, and in the C sub one is sine. But with the two x in here variable, we could actually uh, write them like this. C sub 0 cosine 2x plus c sub 1 over 2 sine 2x. So now that's the answer for the problem y double prime plus 4y is equals to 0.